<laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today, September 7, 2017, and I'm in Folsom, Louisiana. It's like uh, the thoroughbred racing uh, training area in the area right here. Uh, and, and we're actually in uh, one of the barns on, on, the, on the location. And today we're actually going to be taking uh, bees out of one of the doors. And the bees, the bees have been in this door of this barn for many years, 12 years, what I was told, and on and off. And right now the bees, um, they're in here and right here. These, this is their entrance right here and right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start taking the boards off, uh, exposing the uh, comb. And, and I got some great help with me today. We got Jennifer and her husband, uh, John. They're over there putting uh, rubber bands on the frame right now. Since rocket scientist Steve isn't here, he's not going to be able to help us. So we got some quality help with Jennifer and John. And now uh, we've got the, uh, the owner of the stable. He's here with us. Gary, he's here with us also. And uh, I think by, by all this help that we've got, uh, of course, with the grace of God, uh, we'll get these girls uh, loaded up uh, into our frames and, and moved up uh, to, uh, actually they're going to be, I'm going to be babysitting them at the Abbey and then we're going to be moving them over to a beekeeper from uh, the uh, Franklinton area up to his property up there. So it's time to do some wrangling. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got the tools of destruction. So we, since uh, wreck it Ralph ain't here today, uh, I let him know I was going to do this and he said that I was perfectly capable of doing it. Uh, of course, he'd do a lot better job than I am, but you know, I'll give it the old uh, woodworkers try. So uh, let's start tearing this door apart and find us some bees. I want to show what um, I've already found as I'm opening this. As I started taking these strips off, I started smelling uh, fermented uh, honey in there. And uh, so you know what that means. You see, smell that. More than likely, you've, you've got a hive that's failing. Um, and uh, um, you know, now once I took these strips off, you can really see it right here. Here we have. The wax moth right here, um, some more wax moth up there. These are just the little cocoons. And look, what's that right there? What is that? Nasty hive beetle. And uh, I think that's what's going on with this hive. Even before I open it up, let me show you up at the, this. These are the cocoons of the wax moth. I actually saw one of the maggots just a second ago. So we're gonna, I think that we're gonna have a, a failing hive here, but we're here to rescue them. All right, let's take off some of these uh, boards. But before we do that, how about we kill a beetle? <laughs> <laughs> There it is, folks. At one time, that was a beautiful hive. But as our suspicion was correct, it is finished. When I came out here yesterday, there were more bees uh, out here yesterday. So I think that these few little bees right here, and you see they're, they're just still hanging on, on the brood that's in there, nursing the brood. So these are just little nurse bees right here. And this is all that's left. Everybody's taken off. You can see that, that we've got some uh, cells right here, queen cells. One, two, there's one more. I saw three total. Um, but there's your third one right there. 
but it's all too late. This queen stumbled, and, uh, and these bees failed because of that. And now the, the wax moth, they're coming in, the beetles, and they'll finish this one off. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to vacuum, we'll vacuum these little bees. I don't even think there's, there's a queen in here. I think she's already gone. Um, we'll get these bees and uh, start cutting out this, all this honey. I'm gonna bring the honey up and feed the, uh, the Abbey bees with this stuff. And uh, then I'll melt the wax down. I can always use the wax. All right, let's, let's uh, get some bees going and uh, cut out this wax. Well, folks, there she is. I, I, I'm really surprised. I really, I thought that this uh, group of bees had already flown the coop, but uh, I guess they were waiting for another day to do that, and so uh, we just showed up at the right time. Oh man, thank you, Jesus, for this blessing. Oh man, even on my birthday, she gave, they gave it to us. All right. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish wrapping this thing up and, and get these bees uh, together. Oh man, it's so wonderful. Got the queen on this one. So it's just so much better chance for these little bees to survive this, this ordeal. 
All right, let's finish up. Folks, that's a wrap on this one. Got uh, almost all that comb out of there. That stuff was hard as iron. Um, it, it had been in there more than two years as hard as that stuff was. I got most of it out of there. And you can see in the other sections of this wall, it was a, a, a hive in this location at one time. Another hive in this location. And heck, there was even a hive up on the top too. So there have been bees in this area for a long time. I think we did really lucky to, to uh, remove these bees uh, before anything really bad happened to them. I think we're gonna give them their best shot of our survival up at the Abbey. So I'll uh, pick this up at the Abbey and uh, show you the, the release that I'm gonna be doing for them. It's gonna be a little bit different. In fact, I've never done it before. All right, see y'all up at the Abbey. Back up at the Abbey now, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release these, these uh, the bees that we've just captured and the numbers of them are, are very, very small. And uh, so there's no way they can stay in, in this 10 frame nuke. Uh, so what, I've, what I'm gonna do is, and I've never done it this way before, I'm just actually gonna take this, this, the screen off after I place the queen in, in our nuke box. And I'm gonna just try to shake the, uh, the, the bees into here. I believe they, they will, once I put the queen in here, I believe the bees will follow her into it. Let me show you what we, I didn't put any, um, any of that comb from that, that uh, hive in here. I, I was way too concerned about the, uh, the high beetles in it. So every, all of this is just, um, well, we've got, I put two uh, frames of completely drawn out honey into it. Um, one, I put one on each side of the, of the box. And then, so the, actually is, uh, the other one is on the fourth frame right here. And then, uh, I've got the two frames between that are partially drawn out uh, comb. And then there's one more frame in here that's just a wax foundation, a wax plastic foundation. So I'm going to strap the queen in between the two frames, set it between the two frames, and then I'm actually just going to uh, take the lid off of here and get the bees to get inside of here, some kind of way or another. I want to I want to um, grab the camera right now and show you uh, um, what's going on with the bees right now. I always take when I catch when I catch the queen and transport it from wherever we are. I always take the queen and I put her on top of the screen vacuum box um, because I I think that um, it, it actually comforts uh, the the bees that are in the vacuum box knowing that their queen is right here, that there, there's something uh, going on with that, that it actually will um, lessen the amount of stress that the bees have already undergone. So I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna show you this, the, the, this thing right here. Now here's our box, and here's our cage with the queen in it. Now there's other workers in there, I don't know if, you, there's the queen, she's right, she's right here, right on the edge right there, that's her right there. So the bees know um, their queen is in here because look, look at all the bees gathered up underneath her. Her pheromone is going, so they know she's there. Um, there's a few more bees at this end that just kind of, these, these may actually be field bees, but for sure, these are just little nurse bees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my screen board uh, right here and just lift it up and whatever bees are on the screen board, I'm just going to bounce them uh, into onto the nuke and the queen's already going to be uh, in the bottom of it and hopefully uh, we'll get all these other bees to to find her and then move into her so let's see how that works out well there she is just got her in there the trick is going to be able to put her in the box without that cage opening up so I'm going to have to adjust these frames I think I'm just going to leave that frame out until I get these bees all transferred in here, let that queen loose tomorrow, and then I'll drop that other frame in there. 
All right. Let me put on my veil because I don't trust these bees. See if I can get some bees to get inside of our box right here and put the lid on it and let, let these other bees come out. Like I said, I've never done this before, but I think it'll work. I think these bees should be okay by doing it this way. Well, these are really some gentle bees. Uh, I'm really hoping that they're going to make it. Uh, our queen's in there. Uh, the bees seem to be uh, calming down. And they're, they're on the frames right now, so that's all good. I'm going to pick up this stuff and call it a good day. So thanks for watching. And I, I, I gotta, I gotta, again, thank all, all of you guys out there for uh, subbing to my channel. My God, I'm so grateful for, for you all doing that for me. Um, I hope you all keep on watching, and uh, I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red, I'm out of here until the next video.